representation. No Juan Soto today at a catch. As we said earlier, really excited to what see for opening day against Washington with James McCann. End of the season, so I think having a guy like McCann back. Outfielder he knows to be. Goes the other way here, lines it toward Michael Conforto for the first down. Wayne, I'll tell you what, 2016 I played against him. 18 homers in a year. Chops this one to J.D. Davis. The shuffle step, the strong arm, and a pick against the lefty. Bell acquired from Pitt. Chopper that Lindor has to handle in stride. The first, a one, two, three. Corbin later after a one, two, three, first. The ninth spot will be Jacob DeGrom instead of David. Pe now, you know, I don't know how many times any of them are going to get to face. I wonder if he knows Keith. Might be neighbored. Slow chopper for Josh Bell near the bag at first to retire Nimmo. With Schwarber and Soto in the corners, Carter come to impress. And if there's no deal reached by then. Another bouncer for Bell. This time a flip to the pitcher for out number two. Very left-handed heavy. So rips this one to right. That's a base hit. A fastball that time. <laughs> Michael Conforto, the first base runner for the Mets. Here's a guy with a good taste in his mouth right now. Pete. Alonzo takes a big rip but misses to end the inning. Zero. <laughs> you, don't, you don't pick up on any of the smells and the sound. Hopefully more and more as the season goes along. Schwarber looking for left field. But Dominic Smith is there. For our little player for Washington last year. Have to have fake noise. <laughs> Harrison takes ball four. It's a one-out walk. First base. Fairly high for a guy who's more of a Emily. Blooper Nimmo with a long way to come in. Dives forward and makes the catch. Great play. That's by something Bruce. he's a little bit better at naturally. And it's nice to see him come in here and make a play like that. Now he's going to have Off the end of the bat, a slow roller for Jeff McNeil. David Peterson works around a one-out walk. Got a little bit more consistently recently. Getting on a slider and adjusting to a fastball. Out in front is Josh Bell gets another chance. Bell's been busy as sucked will encourage you to watch. I wouldn't say it concerns me a ton. Bliss on the chase, looking back, and it's off the base of the wall. Now, there's a good. It's called the reverse jinx when you team. Jam, Josh Bell. Retired. Last year, especially. He was very good last year. Trying to try to figure out which way to go with it. Chazat gets a base hit to left. McNeil heads for the plate. He'll score the game's first run. A two out RBI. Flashy or special. He's able to stay on that ball. He gets out in front of it, but he just makes it. Didn't get the memo that Peterson has yet to have a big. Rips this one to right. That's a base hit. So David Peterson can swing the bat. Top of the second to rob Jan Gomes of a hit. Swing and a miss, strike three, as Nimmo couldn't catch up to the two chances. He'll try to keep that scoreless over. His body's just kind of letting him down in other areas. Keyboom was jammed. Alonzo trying to make the play. The flip to Peterson. Nice to see him, you know, make that play right there. Peterson, athletic. Yeah. Using the footwork. Swing and a miss, strike three. Brandon Snyder got a piece. So I'm sure every pitcher is tougher when they're ahead 0-2, but Peterson even more that so is, That is incredible stuff. That just means he is very capable of finishing. I don't know that it's necessarily nerf themselves, make a better pitch. Turner, it's a ground ball. Francisco Lindor with the short throw. David Peterson has yet to give up a... Chopper for Turner. Lindor has good speed, but Turner gets him. Made two appearances for them in the World Series. Kept knocking through that door. Good change up there from Guerra. Strikes out Conforto. As you mentioned, veteran guy knows when. When you're throwing straight up, that change up early. So that can be a tough pitch. Chopper to Trey Turner. Quick hitting for Javi Guerra as he wins here. <laughs> Mets did throw up some. Yeah, he was uh, he was honestly absolutely trying to shoot some extra something out of his spring training at bat too. Broken background ball, McNeil has to dodge everything. Did he tag the runner? He gets. That short. was a fantastic play by McNeil right there. That bat is, I mean, it's coming with the ball. I don't know how he did that. Being unflappable and having. 
Jackson with a line drive to left center. That's a base hit. Josh Bell heads to the plate. Nimmo's throw goes towards second. Half right away, but he was fortunate that Nimmo was playing fast. Catcher, <laughs> Wayne. I could win oh, 2009. Yes, and he left. Dominic Smith paces back, makes the catch just shy of the wall. Tagging from first, Harrison moves to second. And makes a nice play. Of course, you don't want to see the runner on first be able to. was not. Starter on opening day. Line to left center. That's going to be a base hit for Perez. Josh Harrison jogs to the plate. And Washington with a two spot. Bats now. Runner going on the first pit. Brandon Nimmo backing up quite a bit. Has room and retires the lead in the fourth. Had a rough year last year over the course of a few years to come back. The reward was there certainly in 2019 like and I'll tell you what their biggest problem when they got to the playoffs had the worst bullpen ERA in the majors ball to shallow right. Aaron Perez for the second out two up two down. Insomnia cookies I, I'm camaraderie has been a big he's met the last few years as Davis lines one to Perez in this game there's kind of this in spring training this year so he's a kind of a de facto DH pinch hitter and now he's over two as Francisco Lindor throws him out Doug Peterson passed away, already won the triple crown a fly ball Conforto's way so two up two down for David Peterson a very sensitive subject in David Trey Turner with a broken bat roller as Jeff McNeil throws him out back of, of, of the game and how he's going to have the fifth McCann had an RBI single his McCann got a good part of it and it's off the glove of Harrison in the center field that should be a base hit for James McCann his second carried away Wayne I mean I don't want to see double plays late swing on the Suero fastball as Peterson strikes at the universal DH and why they would rather have flash guy so Round ball off the cleat of Suero. Turner tries to make except I'm going to crowdsource the answer. <laughs> two balls, two strikes on Lindor. Right, coming in. Perez slides and he can't get there. It's a base hit for Lindor as long as Nimmo gets it to second. He does. Hit, but Nimmo did a good job after he incorrectly started on that on that dive there, and then he realized, okay. Gets to enter this game as a reliever. Three singles. Chase come up with two outs is, is great. Conforto breaks his bat. This could be the double play. One, two, three to retire the side. Mets squander a big fourth with just about second, but instead it was a base hit. And Josh Bell has another hit, this time over the head of Jeff McNeil. Leadoff single here in the sixth. Here's but his length. Is the other way. Dominic Smith has the beat. And makes the catch onto the warning track. Josh Bell tagging up. I've seen that there. You really cannot allow the, some of the guys he normally get, would get out. Peterson stays away from Harris. So a little higher. The strikeout's a little. Comes with a ground ball. Lindor, a backhand, a long throw. Pete grabs it. Go near pop ups. He had trouble catching the ball at times. This amount of hard work. Got a hanging breaking ball and smoked it to left. Lead off hit for Pete Alonzo. Delivery, but they also do it just with their pitches. Consistent in his approach. Under the glove of Bell and down the right field line. Alonzo takes off for third as the ball ends up with about 20 relievers in the watch. He doubled off the wall in center earlier tonight. Victor Robles comes in. Dominic Smith not even bothering with a tag from third. Actually, that you could take away from that and say, okay, I don't rather just see them play line drive to right base hit for Davis Dominic Smith scores and the Mets take a three that if they were lined up traditionally you might have necessary that was a laser red might get two outs if the Nationals turn this quickly like yours truly McCann can run a little bit swing and a miss Almora may have chased ball four 2016 as a brave I never got to catch him by any means that Robert Gesellman is on this team a guy like a guy like Jacob Barnes Davis cuts that one off Davis coming over and making that play really nice job of focus there good footwork 
And, and we know Davis innings when they need it. Over the pitcher's mound, McNeil can't make the play. A scary scene in Washington last year. All on the same roster, Robles. They have an opportunity to make things differ. I didn't know that he had a tendon that most don't have. <laughs> so Stevenson strikes out. Number 16, center fielder Victor Robles. Nice force. Many people have this <laughs> tendon. How many don't? Snap throw to first by McCann. You put extra pressure on yourself in the camp. You're certainly trying to make this roster every time you're out there. Davis with a backhand shows off the strong arm. Pete picks it. Back with him this year to Washington. Toward left, Kyle Schwarber gets under it. And there's one out here. I remember seeing Para baseball family goes against the shift. He singles the other way. Second hit tonight for Francisco. And the Mets house is loaded to win the fifth. A rip to center, but a right to Stevenson. Two down. Anyway, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, they had to play a, a bottom of the ninth. Not around as much this year at the Mets camp like he would have been in the past. Lindor almost got. Rolls one over to Trey Turner. Let's just get me out of here. I just want I just want to get the season started. Are you at that point already? Yeah, I think you get to the point where um, or what I was told is um, taking some BP the last couple weeks. And so it's been good to get back in the box and uh, it was good to face some live pitching tonight. I'll just clanked one off the scoreboard to tie the game. But David, good job tonight. We'll see you soon. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys. That's David Peterson, who was in line for the win tonight. Monster shot from Josh Bellitz, who's had a really great spring. One up. J.D. Davis alone on the left side of the infield. Selman worked a scoreless seventh in his second. Seems like we had it for most of them. Strokes one toward the gap. That's another hit for him. His second tonight. Big turn, but Almora gets. That's a nice Swiss hit. Israel Pineda, the best. Throw to first as Harrison dives back. Mark. Oh, that's going to sneak through. A base hit for Pineda. So in this second inning of work, it's really hard when, with a runner on for you. It makes your job so much easier. Oh, the base hit the other way. That will give Washington the lead as Harrison scores. Racing to third, Pineda. Hurry. Become a mental thing for him. Gaselman strikes him out looking, 94. Arme batting where Dominic Smith, Garcia, you see him there at short. There's a rip to center, a base hit for Guillaume. A pinch hit single to start the eighth. Smokes it up the middle. Beautiful swing there. So now Jeff McNeil. This could be a double play ball. Taking it at second himself, Garcia, but a wild throw. McNeil made the turnaround first. Pitcher went over and tug him, the umpire called him out because of the pandemic in full I'm sure that will happen as Davis lifts a fly ball that the thinning getting another a B here he told me he always has a holiday party every year and he invited me to the holiday party <laughs> <laughs> the wrecker meanwhile we'll go to the ninth here in Port St. Louis